Hi everyone. In this tutorial we're going to explore one of the possible methods of converting video footage into a motion object by modifying the templates folder found in PowerDirector 12's premium templates pack. For those of you who may not be completely comfortable with modifying program files, we are going to provide you with a link to some of our custom modified motion objects later in this tutorial. So let's get started. First, I'll locate a video clip that I want to turn into a motion object. Now this is where the individual frame extraction software comes into play. The program I use is called Video Image Master. I'll open this program and import my desired clip. Then I'll choose my options so I can extract 150 individual frames from the video clip. OK, so now we need to locate the Premium Templates Pack in your PowerDirector 12 program files by following this path. C Drive, Program Files x86, Cyberlink, Templates, PowerDirector Content Pack 12, PowerDirector Content Pack Premium, PIP Object. For this example, I'll choose the PDR12 Vinyl folder where we can see that there are 150 sequentially numbered still images that make up this animated record player motion object. If your power director is set to the PAL format, you'll see 125 images. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make a copy of this folder so that I have a safety backup that I can restore. Then I'll open the original folder and delete the original vinyl images so that I can replace them with my new images. But first I need to rename my new 150 extracted images so that their file names match the same file name as the original vinyl folder file names. So I'll open my bulk renamer program and rename the file names of my new images. So again, to make sure that they match the original sequentially numbered vinyl file names in the original folder. Then I simply copy my new files and paste them into the vinyl folder. Now I'll open my PowerDirector 12 and open the PIP objects room and then go to the Animated Objects room and then click on the Record Player object and drag it down into a Timeline track. As we can see, the Record Player Motion object now displays as my new custom motion object. But this motion object has a gray background and I want it to have a transparent background. So I'm going to take a snapshot of my object and then open the snapshot in my paint.net photo editor. Then I'll create a mask for this motion object that I can add to the object so that the motion object has a transparent background. I can add my mask by simply clicking on modify to open PIP designer. Then I click on the mask button and browse for and import my object mask. Finally, I'll click on the Save As button and give my new custom motion object a new name and then click on Save. Now my new custom motion object will be saved and be available anytime I may wish to use it. If the video clip that you use has a transparent alpha channel, then you won't need to create a mask. Just be sure to use the PNG image format when you save your extracted frames to maintain the transparency. If your footage is shot on a green screen background, follow the same steps to extract the individual frames. And then use them to replace the original frames and save as a custom motion object. 
Then open this custom object, click on modify, and use the chroma key tool to remove the background. Now save this object again with a new name and you'll now have a motion object with a transparent background. As I said at the start, this tutorial is only intended to show and cover the basic steps of this technique. After experimenting a little, the method that you may choose may vary depending on which frame extraction or renamer program that you use. In the description box for this tutorial, you'll find a link to a video sampler collection of some motion objects that were made using this technique. Please see the sampler video for free download details. Thanks for watching.